man. Watch out, buddy. You ready to go home? You have a long day at work? Long day at work? Alrighty, guys. So today, Friday, little update. Working here on trailer hitches. See, I got three of these done. I'm trying to do a little different procedure. This time, weld the knees on first before I weld the plate. That way, I have a little bit more room to get in here and weld instead of having to stick my tungsten out very far. But it's good. These ones are all done. There's a smaller order this time. These are done, ready for powder coat. These ones uh, have to cut two more of these guys, but we cut a few extra, so I'll have some spare. Sometimes, things like distances and, well this, that's all set, but distances like on this, or distances from the edge here, you know, I kind of just kind of do make a quick little jig here with the two pieces that hold it, so I line it up, but I have to reset it each time. I didn't make it like a permanent jig because I'm not making thousands of these. If I was, I'd make a permanent jig, but I'm not. So I want to have a couple made up so that I have replicas to go off of. Um, there's one right here. That's actually one I welded on backwards. The flag, I got to cut that off and probably just weld on another plate. I have extra plates, extra gussets, extra skulls. I just need some extra ones of these. And I did, I was making these guys with, out of 16 gauge here and weld that to the eighth inch. But with my particular welder, um, it doesn't like the low amperage starts. You really have to give it a lot of pedal. And a lot of times it burns through the 16 gauge and it's kind of a pain and a little frustrating. So I think I'm just gonna make everything out of eighth inch going forward. So even those guys will get eighth inch. Way overkill, but honestly, it's, for the cost difference material wise, it's not much. I'll be able to weld it a lot quicker. So I'll save, save on the back end time wise. And then in here, some more work was done on this room. We now have walls and doors so the ceiling and there's birdie back there hunting a the mice or something the ceiling is getting a tongue and groove because as you can see there's quite a bit of storage that we can use up here quite a bit of storage where'd you find birds so we're using these guys that we got off of a job site these tongue and grooves these guys are really expensive um, but luckily it was leftover scrap and then we're used reutilizing it here so we'll have a good solid ceiling 
to put uh, weight up there so we'll have a good bit of storage. But this room, in case you were wondering, this room is going to be the dirt, dirty room. So the powder coating booth is going to go in here, the sandblasting uh, booth, and anything else that I deem is too dirty to really be out in the, at the floor. I might move the deburr tool in here just because it'll be quieter. The oven's going to stay out here because the oven was too hard, too big to get in here. And we got these doors, these fire doors for free as well. And we wanted to utilize them. And there's no way I'm going to be able to get that oven out. You can't, it's so heavy, you can't lean it back. And I don't want the, the possibility of it falling over and getting somebody hurt. So we're just going to leave that out, put it over here. I just got to pull my, my power back to here. It'll be perfectly fine. We'll be able to take our stuff, wheel it right out and right into the oven. Not a problem with that. We actually decided to go 13 foot instead of 10 foot. If the someday we ever hit our water jet, it's going to be a tight fit because it's big. But I'd rather have the extra room in here just because we might do some open sandblasting. And that can get a bit messy and I'd rather be not as confined. That's why we also went with 10 foot ceilings in here. So we have a lot of room. So if we are grinding and dusting and stuff, it doesn't get all filled up in here. And that was the other thing with the oven. The oven, sometimes she smokes. I mean, you're, you're burning off oils on the inside of metals that you can't get to, or uh, just sometimes the powder coat, it, it'll smoke a little bit. And it'll roll out pretty good. And if it was in this room and it's a confined space, it would, it would get smoky and then we'd have to put a vent in, which is I wanted to do anyways. There's a window actually behind that door, but we didn't, they side, put siding on the other side, so I can't see where the door is, so I'll, window is, so I'll probably have to pull that all out at some point and do the exhaust vent in there just so we can have uh, exhaust through here to, to remove any uh, powder or dust or anything in case it, in case it gets bad in here. Honestly, I, I don't know that it will because the ceilings are so high and we want the 13 foot wide by whatever this is. Come on, Mr. Man. That's an update for today. Tomorrow I'll be back in. Saturday I'll be actually shooting or uh, welding more finishing those off I have to cut a couple on the plasma which means I have to set up a whole entire jig to do that just to cut two that's why I cut extra ones of those so that I can burn through it and have them as spares and ready to go for the next time And then hopefully I'll wire the oven back up and I'll be able to shoot these powder coat. I'd like to get these done this week. We were promised by Friday next week so they can, these can be shipped out for Christmas. I want to get it done early. I got some new other projects going on. Uh, I got one that I'm, I'm really excited to work on, some machining for uh, a paraplegic mountain climber that is doing uh, Mount Everest come May. So. I need to get a prototype out to him before the end of the year because he's going to Nepal to do some testing. So I need to get this mocked up and designed and finished. I got the CAD file all done. Last night I had a couple issues with how I'm mounting it to the cramp on, but I got that sorted. So all I have to do is machine these up and uh, we'll document that. So I'm looking forward to working with that because that, uh, I don't know, just makes you feel good, right? It's Everest, dude, Everest. All right, see you tomorrow. Coleum. Hi. First snowfall for the year. It's cold too. <laughs> Shut the door. I don't know if you can see that on camera. <laughs> you can see lots of snow I threw though. The light turned on, which means it's dark. It's getting dark and it's not even that late. Ooh. It's like two o'clock. G Ross, Dan. Yeah, I wonder what was sitting on the. Who knows? Not a good idea. No. It was funny. Anyways, for good content. Here we are on Saturday. I was going to go get drywall today, but that's out. It'd be wet wall. Yeah. Or wonder wall. Or just terrible. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. <laughs> or a good way to waste a couple hundred bucks. <laughs> and load the dumpster up. Hey guys, look at my car. Oh, look at Dan's car. Somebody hit me. 
and didn't leave a note. I'm, hit, <laughs> I'm not mad or anything, but yeah, just we can leave a note next time. <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> Like uh, like uh, yeah. like four hours longer than you. What? Yeah, right. Been here for like an hour. Anyways, we're here working on trailer hitch inserts, flag poles. Get hitched. And uh, I want to weld them up, get them all done today. I still have to tumble some uh, pieces, and then I can weld them up, and we'll be ready for powder coat. At some point, I was hoping to do it today, but it's three o'clock. I'm not going to get to it today. So if I can get it done Monday, that'd be great. I'd be okay with that. Yes, Dan. It's a, it's a ruckus in here. I don't get it. This is called a ruckus. It's called a ruckus, and I made a punny joke. Yeah, you did. Not really. Dad jokes. What up? I had to go out and get a flag. This is kind of cool. We had to go out and get a flag today because uh, it, the standard pole is one inch in diameter. I'm pretty and sure people are going to get I, mad because this is touching the uh, table. It'll be okay. So there's a little bit of play in there. That's how I designed it. So it would be tight, but not too tight. This is DOM. <laughs> when I ordered another stick or two, I didn't specify DOM and they sent me a welded seam. See that in there, the welded seam right there. That takes up a little bit of difference. So I was like, uh oh, I better go buy a flag to make sure that it fits. Big old pile of poopy. Yeah. So, fortunately, it does still fit, even with the weld. So, that's good. Price is diverted. So I have some welded up. Actually, I only have like three more after weld up, but I decided I'd cut a bunch more uh, just to get rid of the stick and you know weld it up. And then everything will be ready for power cut. So on to that. Hey, what?
Well, folks, that's all we have for today's vlog. I didn't film an outro, but if you liked what you saw, please feel free to subscribe, like, and or tell your friends. See you next time.